Hey there. Um, this is my <laughs> town for um, the week of. Uh, look at the date real quick and see what the what date it is. Sorry about the selling. I'm selling grapes, uh, believe it or not, and that is really all that I've gotten to and. Let me tell you why, okay? I had a little bit of a, I don't want to say a bad experience because when can gaming be a bad experience, right? It, it really isn't. And this is, the, this is the competition for the week of uh, August the 3rd through August 8th. Uh, but... My experience was this. They changed salt. And, you know, I I don't have a real good way. I need to figure out how and then update everybody. I don't have a good way to know what information. I don't know if they're giving this info out to people or what's going on. But salt, I noticed when I was doing a video, it was selling for 51 k um, every for every 10 salt that you were selling, you were getting 51k. So I was like, wow, they've changed salt, it's worth it. I, I could see myself using salt to get started, make a profit. Da, da, da. So on the uh, monthly server, I set up a town. I got it started with salt. I did a video on that called Salty Start. And uh, and then I took that all the way through cakes. So I thought, well, for the weekly competition, why not? So I picked my spot based on thinking I wanted to do cakes. And uh, let me stop my lumber mill here. It seems that I have used up all my... Um, my wood and these poor little farmers are not able to take care of the grapes properly. Anyway, so I picked my spot based on the information that I had at the time. And it turns out that that information was, uh, I won't say incorrect it maybe it just wasn't complete maybe they just maybe it was a mistake when they um set that price for salt or you know i am not sure well, did somebody mess up did they try it and say you know what this uh just turns out that this is totally imbalanced or what was going on however i picked my spot this week based on that information I had at the time. And then when I got all set up and I, I made my first salt sale, it sold for 25K. And so, that, you know, I mean, it, it was pretty much half, or it might have been 26, I don't know. It, it was pretty much half of the, I think it was 25.5, half of what it was selling for prior to Tuesday. So that, that was kind of disappointing. It took the wind out of my sails a little bit. So I had to say, okay, I, I don't want to do salt now. I want to go back to my old trusty grapes because they are, um, you know, it, it's a little hard to get started with grapes, but once you get them started, once you get past the point where you've got some lumber created and you've got a way to, um, you know, making grapes can be a little harder in the uh, desert because you don't have ponds like you do or marshes like you do in the forest. But, uh, but anyway, you can... Once you get past whatever struggles you have initially and you get started with grapes, you kind of get a, a momentum going. And 
it's actually a wonderful thing. And so I decided, okay, they've, they've messed up salt for me. Uh, I'm not enjoying the salt struggle. So let me switch over to grapes. So that's exactly what I did. And you can see that I have created a little grape town to generate some money so that I could have a real build. However, I'm not feeling the cake because I, I don't know. I was feeling maybe a little cheated or something uh, because of the salt that kind of took the wind out of my sails. I, I don't know. Just gave me a little bit of a bad attitude, which is, you know, something that you don't really want as a game. I think I was just tired, honestly. And so what I did was I, I haven't done anything. If you notice, we have three days left. Uh, I was rising in the ranks, so I just let it go. And I rose up to like around uh, in the 50s. I don't know if I got to 50 or not. I don't think I got any higher than the 50s. Um, and then, you know, what happens is people are deciding what they're going to, how they're going to do their town. And they do probably do the same strategy that I do. And they... Uh, they have a build like this, they generate some money, and then they are doing their real build. And so during that process of people doing their real build, I think I kind of kept going up into like the 50 range, but you notice now I'm going down. It's like I am down to 75. So it's like, Will I stay there or are there more people that are going to actually finish their real build and, and you know, do something? So what I, I, I'm thinking is I'm going to have to do a real build and I will, um, I'm, I'm going to just label this as part one and then... I'm going to do a part two of this and actually show my building out of the town that I want to be. If you notice, I just had to stop my uh, lumber mill because I, I created all that lumber. I've, I've got to get ready. I've got to gear up for the change. I think I am past all my hurt and, and pouting about uh, being, um, you know, uh, disappointed with the um, uh, news or changes that they made. One positive change, and and you know, this really should be something that uh, people really appreciate in a way, and some people may be disappointed. It, it just depends on your perspective. But, uh, you know, they had it set up so people could work in teams. And if you're working by yourself, uh, that really is a, a huge disadvantage to you. I mean, uh, Yes, it was nice that, uh, you know, if you know somebody and you set up right next to each other, like me and my daughter, then it's like, oh, I need some gas. Let me pass it over. Oh, I need, you know, uh, some wood. It's an emergency. I need wood or whatever it is or energy, say, that you need it. And that way you could kind of, you know, pass things that are, uh, not really game changer type things, but they're helpful sometimes. Um, you can't do that anymore. Uh, let me make sure that that I'm not giving misinformation. I start to doubt myself now because they they keep making changes. But typically, here's another uh, good nugget: is typically if they're going to make a change, it happens 
for the Tuesday uh, weekly competition. You know, it starts on Tuesdays. So usually when that it's time for that competition to start, that's when I notice changes taking place. Um, but there used to be something called neighbor delivery, and they've removed that. So that means that all these people who have all these points, let's see in the top 10, 4 million points is uh, our number one person. And the way you can spot the number one person is if you come out here and you look, and let's see if we can spot them. And I'll show you what I'm looking for when I find it. Um, I didn't didn't know for a while about this um, way to tell. And some people may be like, "Oh, yeah, everybody knows that," or it's quite obvious. It might be to most people, but there are a few of us who might not recognize it until we know that we're really what we're looking for. Um, and my goodness, it was right over here. And if somebody else has already spotted it and I've gone past it and you're just dying to tell me, but you can't because it's video, I apologize for your frustration. Uh, well, let me see something. A lot of times it's in this area. Um... Clouds don't help you when you're looking for something. <laughs> uh, they really kind of get in the way. I don't, I don't know if they added the clouds for uh, you know for to be realistic or to be uh, somehow enhancing, but they are annoying. In my opinion, uh, but it, everybody has that same annoyance to deal with. I'm going to pause the video while I look around. I know this got to be boring. I'll be right back. Okay, I found it finally. Sorry about all that uh, looking for it, but it looks like way up here. Uh, is nutty, number one. But you can find the number one person. It's hard to just go around and click on people and say, oh, that's like she's number 1540. It's hard to just be able to find them, except for the number one person always has a gold cup above their head. So that is really cute. Um, I like that. And then you can find them. So they are way up here. Um, and so th this looks like their closest city or this one. I'm not sure which one of these technically is closer, but I would say that they're paying at least two gas, if not three or four gas. And I know that this person beside them says friendly neighbor. I I don't think that they could be sent giving them gas unless there is, you know, guys, comment in the in the comments if you if you know of a a way to do this. If you, you might be able to, they may have an NFT for friend peer. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not sure how anyone can help anyone else. But regardless, 
they are doing an amazing job. They've got 4 million points. Uh, and in comparison, you can see us just selling grapes. And I've, I've just been, I got off to a little bit of a bad start, but pretty much the whole time I've been selling grapes. And like I say, I, I do that to generate money. And now I'm up to 50 million. So obviously, I've got the money for a build out. But I have just, it, it's like the wind got let out of my sails. I have just been, I think, mourning my my uh, losses, so to speak. I it's I hadn't I haven't lost yet. I'm, it's not over. I'm still in the top 100, uh, but you can see I'm slowly dropping. I was 75 when I started. Uh, filming this and now I'm down to 76. So needless to say, within three days, I'm going to be out of the top 100 if I don't re-energize myself, get busy building and, uh, and get this figured out. And one thing that I can see, I got a head on lumber, but the uh, when the well, I'm gonna do a part two when I start the build, and I'm about to put a wind turbine so that I can um, start getting some energy for building. So I'm probably going to need to remove at least these three tractors so that the wind turbine will be. Uh, will not be hindered by wind block, but it's also going to shade some of these crops. But there again, whatever I'm doing, I'm not going to be making wine, obviously, because I don't have a mountain. I planned for a cake town, so most likely that's what I'm going to build out here. So I'm going to end this here just uh, so everybody has a little bit of a background on what's going on, and I'm going to start part two. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.